okay sap support project so how it works i'll explain again um, so once implementation is done so once everything go live so there will be like a support for a couple of weeks or month from the respective implementation partner okay so once that support is finished and they may continue for a year or uh, that contract for a amc kind of annual maintenance contract kind of or that may go to other organization service organization who can support the process regular process uh, on every module okay so then that time some transition of knowledge also happen knowledge transition will happen with the implementation partner to a new organization okay implementation partner to new organization to new organization okay this is the process the first thing this will happen then uh, the which the team the new team will be there right for supporting so there you can find a lead consultant and then other senior consultant then associate consultant like that it depends on the organization to organization the designation sometimes sometimes they'll call the junior consultant or a senior analyst uh, analyst like that okay every organization they will give just one a role which as per your experience okay so normally uh, the when uh, any incident or tickets which i call in support project okay that will be raised through the different tools service now uh, bmc remedy jira so like that different tools are there in the market so whichever uh, tool they have uh, installed or maybe they have they are going to use to capture all this um, uh, support related incident or any changes or any requirement of uh, testing all that right whatever it is they will follow the uh, tools and even some some other tools are also there for the testing also that that i will take separately when i talk about the testing related uh, process there there is one separate session is there okay so senior consultant like here uh, lead consultant will de decide who can manage the uh, the issues in which area example uh, senior consultant know more about the criticality of the process then they, they may he may he or she may put that ticket to this person q and so medium uh, low priority which which uh, associate consultant can handle so they may start putting that issues into the into their queue so start, slowly they will push some of the tickets and uh, they may take uh, support each other and uh, manage the scenarios okay so so how the flow will happen uh, this initially incident will be raised and uh, that will be assigned to the particular queue uh, assigned to uh, consultant queue okay from that uh, consultant will acknowledge to the uh, person who raised the issue acknowledge acknowledgement to user through a mail and updating the uh, incident okay by uh, some descriptions or whatever information collected then they start analyzing analyzing the issue what exactly issue why it came what is the reason for that and analysis will happen okay once analysis they have uh, like uh, everything good if they need any support from the user to share their screen so you can contact uh, they will contact and share the screen and all will happen uh, to show the process where exactly the problem is coming normally while incident is raised right that time they will attach some of the, some of the screenshot and all steps and all but in case they have missed out to add all that process so you have to reach out to them and to know about the process once they will explain so if you are able to fix over there immediately you can guide them and you can fix or if you not something uh, complicated one or some error is something very new for you even that case you can replicate the issue in the lower client lower client in the sense quality or pre-production whatever client you have land there will be landscape right sap landscape development client uh, quality client and production client if you have not gone through that 
uh, landscape i will have I, I kept one session for that also to explain you in a brief way okay so here we will replicate the issue in the lower client to see why where exactly the problem is coming so once you rectify the issue whether it is a one time fix issue or data related issue and all right you rectify the issue then uh, you you can uh, mention that this is a problem might be a master data problem or a configuration problem or user education somewhere user is not aware about how to handle the process and they are doing they, they are doing mistake in the production that this this data they are not entering something else they are entering even sometimes what happens you will not you will be not knowing what exactly the process they are running you are uh, like as a consultant we join the organization and there start understanding the process and they would have given some knowledge transfer something is missed out so all that will be there right so it takes little time to analyze and to manage the situation in the best way okay so you find out all these things then you will you will fix the issue accordingly okay so once this issue is fixed then you are going to attach the uh, do and documentation or maybe the process which you follow and how it is fixed attach the document in the incident in the tool then you are sending an email send an email for the confirmation and asking for the closure okay, asking for the closure so they may uh, come back again to know like how to do and all if they are very good with the, the process which you have documented and you explain or you can connect once and you can explain also okay, with the user if they are available and all so once it is closer uh, closure uh, confirmation you get from the user get closure confirmation or get confirmation from the user from the user then attach the that confirmation mail that's the approval or closure confirmation mail in the ticket in the incident and then close close it before closing the incident incident number will be like uh, generally it will show like this inc uh, three five six like this number will be there okay some running number so there you will be maintaining some information like which t code you got the issue okay and uh, which uh, module uh, uh, like it, whether it is a master data or a transaction like that then we'll give maximum information in the description and there are different options are there in the uh, in the screen to choose and set, uh, mention so in the while while you in future you see some report how many issues come up and what are the areas how it is uh, it was solved whether it is a repeat issue regularly you'll get that such such issues so how to manage uh, to educate them and you can prepare some uh, knowledge uh, transfer documentation also in the sense you you can ask user to uh, follow this this step if something not followed before sometimes what happened after implementation training will be given to the user but somewhere uh, some gap will be there so so implementation partner will think like everything good and they may manage all this all the way but after some time they may face some issues or new user will come into uh, the organization and somewhere they they couldn't manage to handle all that knowledge transfer to them because even they have a enough uh, like very minimal knowledge about the process okay so you can find such such uh, experience in the support side okay and if any critical issues will come into picture right critical in issues in the sense uh, maximum plants are impacted you just imagine there are like uh, 20 plants 30 plants are there all the plants you are facing some the user is facing problem uh, not able to do a gr not able to do a purchase order or something okay such cases called critical issues that you are going to solve within the four hours of time and here you should create a document called root cause analysis document okay so this is mandatory to create because this is analysis you are going to do and document it and every 30 minutes you are going to send a um, uh, like uh, what, what i can say 
update about the status what is happening what is happening now so in the critical issues we will uh, first we will connect with all the required people and we'll call it as a bridge call okay we'll send an invite to all like a vapor if they required all the module people if it is integrated with other module module consultants then from the sme side anyone is their subject matter experts and uh, from the user side uh, users super users who are all required in that call lead consultant in the internally so who are all required we'll send an email saying that so join and understand the uh, the criticality of the problem issues which need to be solved and every 30 minutes we'll send an uh, update through the uh, some template we'll have an uh, format to share the information this this, this like this uh, progress is going on what we have done uh, analysis is done ABAP is working on the um, fixing of this particular thing so all that will update within the within four hours we have to solve it that's it okay <laughs> this experience you get only when you get into the company organization where you get the critical issues okay i can say some issues like uh, table level um, data is not updating and all that that is normally critical issue will come so your uh, user is creating the data and it, it is getting saved in the front end but it's not getting saved in the table level so that is a major critical basis team will involve okay so basis if anywhere security is required they also come into picture security consultant okay these are technical consultant basis and all they will manage uh, the table level uh, problems or inconsistency in the table or performance issue sometime system will just load load or it will just keep on loading but nothing will come so said, and, and, and it will go for dump dump means something uh, uh, some error will come and nothing uh, go for next screen such 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 act, action will come means somewhere some changes are moved into into the production normally some changes recently moved and uh, that impacted this uh, critical issue okay mode so that we can check what are the recent changes are moved into the production all the trs we will check from last week so uh, like that we have to understand and if something you have to revert the changes so that new tr we have to create and revert all the changes back and then they they can that's like work around so work around activity we should do uh, because or else that will be a problem for the user to create some data work around activities will give them and uh, then we'll take a uh, time to move the changes to the production and really they want to do a, a quick action then we'll ask can we go with an emergency transport request to the production okay transport request in the sense so where we capture the configuration so where we capture the workbench request abap changes happens coding changes happens whatever it is so that can be done uh, within a day time and we'll move the changes to the production so that time we'll take all the approvals and all in the uh, through mail and we'll attach to the uh, ticket incident okay so this is about the support activity support project of how we manage and all so here we'll, we'll get a different level of issues l1 l2 and l3 okay l1 is very basic so which the which can be solved by the from the business side if they have a small it, IT team they only can do it if not it will come to a support of uh, who are all who, who is taking care of the support activity it will come to them and l2 is little analyzing analysis skill is required here analyze the issue at all okay and l3 is like majorly it's kind of a change change development okay or any kind of report development or some table level changes or something which is not possible through a support team to handle the uh, issue and solve it okay it may need spro changes or it may need a uh, abap side coding thing need to be done all that so that will be taken care by l3 level okay and here will be priorities priority in the sense uh, you just imagine uh, what is low priority what is medium priority high priority and critical okay 
so low is like it takes uh, you can do easily that you will manage within for 15 days time so it's not an emergency so somewhere the issue is very uh, simple and uh, not even uh, required to fix it quickly you can take your own sweet time to solve the issues so normally like overall associate level or uh, very fresh to the system sap system and they just trained outside and join the organization that time so we used to normally we used to go for this low priority to handle and they will interact with the user and all they get experience they start solving the issues right that will be taken care and this medium issues like eight days or four days it depends on the organization organization we'll call it as service level agreement okay sla so this is one of the interview questions if they if anyone asks like what is sla you should know that service level agreement will be there in every organization so they would like to follow that agreement like whenever issues will come you have to solve within this time or else it will breach breach in the sense if it becomes 16 or 17 days then that will be called, called as breaching the incident and it may impact your uh, performance thing okay um, client may say like you are not handling the things within the timeline okay because this agreement will be signed in the initial days only uh it will be one year and all so within that time you should uh, follow the instructions given by the the client and medium is eight days to four days and high priorities it depends on the company to company again organized organization 12 to 14 24 hours critical lapse in like it's four hours <clears throat> okay so what kind of issues are you may get in this this it depend, depends on the uh, the process business to business so here you can find majorly on the report side problems that you can easily manage and here you may get transaction level data or master data issues or maybe some early strategy issues release pricing okay account determination okay there are many areas like spread validation problems SQ related, all that, all that transaction only. So transaction master data and release pricing and all it, it's uh, under uh, every uh, uh, process, it, it will be there. So they may raise concern on that, then you have to go and analyze. And before solving an issue, uh, you should know about the uh, documentation. So how you refer uh, about the process. Uh, if something you are very new implementation has happened, couple of years back and you, you have to start supporting the uh, end users so you always refer the functional specifications fs will be there if any changes happen for that there will be fs you read understand what are the changes that happened accordingly you can go and support them or else you just go and talk in a by uh, knowing some standard knowledge and that that will not help you help that they may laugh so already we know there's this process uh, which is completely standard but we are looking something Announcement is happened in this process might be so they will they will not have time to go and see all the fs and read and then solve the process solve the issue because they may have more work on the business side they have to create some uh, 100 purchase order interact with the vendor supplier negotiation they will visit client place sometimes you will not able to uh, interact also with the user because they'll be traveling every, every time so that time you have to connect in a uh, connect with the odd time also example they'll be available in the night hours or early morning hours you have to connect in a that uh, shift also will be there in support project sometime so 24 by 7 we will be supporting so that time uh, uh, like uh, it's a uh, uh, us based organization or uk or still in whatever company right so that time you have to support as per their uh, availability okay if something you are not able to uh, connect with the uh, on that your time so you can uh, check with your colleague who is joining next uh, shift so they may interact with them connect with them take all the information and that uh, you will get next day and you can uh, go and check the issues by taking the reference it, it is like you have to uh, pl uh, plan in a best way that how how you can use make use of your team teammates on that things that's why you have to be very good with your team and lead who is in the project
okay so and the high is like what i can see seen in my experience like majorly bad jobs are there every day uh, there will be bad jobs which run conversion of pr to po or uh, there will be like bad job of um, uh creating uh, or posting invoices like uh, mass posting invoices automatically okay regular basis or ers uh, invoice posting all that some bad jobs are there once once uh, business uh, get some more maturity about the process and all definitely they will come up with the uh, bad jobs to create and i hope you guys don't know much about the bad job how it works and all so even i will show one of the one session that uh, how to create a bad job for a converting purchase equation to purchase order already one video is there in youtube so i will share today you whenever you get time you just watch it okay or else i'll just take one session on that also okay bad jobs or uh, somewhere i have seen uh, uh, high priority issues in the delivery side delivery like shipping is not happening and uh, there will be like uh, through the air it it sh you should go hmm. okay Okay, please don't unmute yourself. Any question is there? Please note down. I'll, I'll answer your questions. And many join late. Please uh, make that on time joining the session. Okay, or plan well. Okay. So delivery side, you just imagine um, shipment is to be done, and uh, there is waiting through air. Air it should go, and they cannot wait right for a long time. So immediately they have to uh, do the goods issue. Something issue has happening. print is not happening or a goods issue is not happening stock is not available some serial number or batch number is not taking such 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 problem will come in the delivery which delivery or bond delivery you just uh, have gone through the sto process intra or inter where with delivery process is there so in the delivery side you may find much problem that's always critical sorry high priority that need to be solved quickly okay in case they say like we are not able to do any delivery for these many plants these many uh, supplying plant and all right that will be taken as a critical okay one or two plants they are facing problem then they that will be taken as high priority so majorly they see like a very critical and all they will raise critical issue and you can go and understand and discuss then you can say, say them this is not critical you can change the status to high or even they create some time high 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 priority so without knowledge they think like this is high priority this is high priority users and all so even that all time also you can explain this is not high priority you can change the status to medium priority and accordingly you can work on the issues so that time you should know you should have a good knowledge about the uh, problem or maybe the situation which they are facing and always try to give a work around solution for the business okay if you are not able to uh, display uh, purchase order through me23n some problem is coming so tell them go to me2n open all the po or run uh, entry your uh, you don't know the po number just get the po for this this date and from that you click it will take you to the me23n screen so there is a linkage right or you can open some of the uh, purchase requisition from that also you can open the purchase order so some work around you should give to the user uh, if you are not able to fix this uh, issue immediately sometime like uh, uh, they are not able to create a purchase order immediately so you can ask them you just talk to vendor that i am going to create a uh, purchase order uh, once the issue is solved you, they, they can mail and say evening we will create all the orders but uh, make sure this this much requirement we have for this material so they just do a manual uh, communication or they will send some uh, excel sheet they'll send the information to the vendor so today end of the day we will create and uh, update you but you plan for your uh, production activity or supplying the goods and all example tomorrow they have to deliver but you are not able to uh, create a po today purchase order but you can ask them to regularly you are uh, interacting with the vendor they know if some problem happens you can communicate manually or you can send information this this and once po is generated and then you can do the uh, goods receipt once the product is received in your location it's all about the how you manage uh, the situation at the end that po purchase order should create in the system so that will be track track will be there for all the way okay 
this is about the priorities and how to handle all the process low medium high critical and incident i have given one uh, video which uh, you can refer uh, where uh, mentioned like how the service now tool will work okay and i'll try to uh, document it a step by step process by taking the screenshot and uh, i'll share with you whenever i get time on that okay and uh, what else i want to, wanted to share here okay so in the support project uh, what kind of knowledge is re required okay support project you should know sap mm complete end to end okay mm side whatever process you whatever you learned from this platform you should be familiar with that process wherever you, any questions the user may ask or they may ask you to educate them immediately you should connect with them you should explain them all that okay maximum things you should know about end to end and majorly i have seen like pm and mm issues will come you have to learn and you have to do it or pp and mm integration part or sd and mm okay this kind of integration issues will come mm and fi okay so integration issues will come and there is no uh, separate pm or pp sd or mm uh, sd fi consultants are there in your organization in that organization definitely they'll ask you to learn some of the process internally for a couple of weeks and start working on the solution simple issue will come like work order is created but uh, a purchase request is not generating and somewhere like a sale order is generated and delivery is created for the sale order and some issue is there in the delivery of the sale order okay so there you, you should know how to replicate the uh, sale order creation in the system and from that how to do the delivery things and all so if, if, if it is something sim simple you can go and do it you can learn and uh, perform such activities okay then uh, you should have a, a little knowledge about the tools okay at least you should know how the service now uh, jira or bmc remedy how it works so at least research in youtube and all there are many videos you can go through it and if any questions asked by the interviewer by interview you can explain yeah i know this this tools very well but i have never worked on such tools uh, in my company or organization we used to communicate through the mail only or any tool is there already you can mention that tool also so any not only in sap any any application you are working out you are working on non non erp application and you are supporting such erp tool and how it works what all the process are followed how how differ, differ from the sap so all you can explain in a best way okay somewhere you are all into sap side but uh, you are not working on some particular module okay even that you can express i am not working on mm module but i am working on pm as of now supporting end users and all so where uh, i am uh, i am kind of super user i never worked on the configuration but i know where exactly this configuration can be done and all and i learned everything through the e learning platform so you all you can explain all these things so at the end wherever you get support project or any requirement you say like you have enough experience to handle the requirement uh, or any any kind of issues if they ask you should able to at least keep some of the issues ready with you uh, some low priority some five six issues medium high critical we have some uh, sample issues uh, with us we'll we'll give i'll share the document with you all so that you can refer okay okay that's it from my end uh, if something i missed out please ask i will just cover in the q and a session